Okay, um, I've just bought some gorgeous freesias and a little plant that I didn't know the name of. It's called uh, wax flower, and I just thought this would be a lovely thing to study. Um, if I just zoom in a little bit on these. Um, I just thought that the freesias have got a lovely shape with the petals, this flower is open and then these birds are getting smaller and smaller as they're waiting to open. And these wax flowers are just tiny little clusters of pinky white florets and so almost uh, like little tiny alpine, like pine needle le leaves. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enjoy drawing some very slow uh, contour drawings of these flowers just to get to know the shapes of them again so just a little bit of play using the real thing uh, so I hope you'll enjoy that I'll start starting the drawing in the next clip Right, so I'm ready to do a few contour drawings now. This uh, freesia, or actually one stem at a time, this freesia. Um, I've got them in a jar on front of me, uh, on, on the desk in front of me, but I might actually lift one out, you know, and put it on the paper and try and draw it that way as well. I'll just, tr I'll try it this way first of all, sort of looking at it, and then just doing a freehand sort of contour drawing on the paper which I'll, I'll put the camera on the paper in, in a second. Um, the thing that attracts me about this flower is, if I can just zoom in, is all of this. The, there's, there's the one flower which is open, then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight buds going, you know, in diminishing in height from, from that sort of size to quite small. And I just like the structure of that. So I think it's worth really naming the thing that excites you and that's drawing you to, excuse the pen, drawing you to a particular subject. Name it, uh, explore what it is about it that you like, because that's, that'll come through in your, in your drawing then, okay? So let's get the focus on the paper now. I'm just using, um, Typical paper that can be found uh, in any sort of art store. It, it can be cheap paper. This actually has got a tiny little bit of tooth to it. It's quite nice quality. Th this is meant to be just a loose, a loose drawing. So I'm not going to fuss too much. And as I mentioned before, I'm trying to look at the flower itself and very little at the paper so you'll be seeing what I've drawn before I do it's a bit of a leap in the dark but I'm just going to allow myself this freedom to just draw quite sensitively but blindly this is like semi-blind contour drawing with this, if you're doing it at home, you take as much time as you like. Just allow yourself to feel around the curves of the petals. And just try not to look at the paper, even when you feel you've got to jump and change direction or look back on yourself. As I'm doing now, I'm actually not sure where I'm going at the moment, but I'm just following the buds in front of me. Now I'm working on a bud that's in front of the other bud, so I've had to leave the one bud behind unfinished. So that'll be fun, trying to hook up with that. Because I'm not looking at the paper. When I'm skipping around and trying to get back to the main structure of the plant, I'm just taking my pressure off the pencil, uh, off the paper, before I put the pressure back on again to start the drawing again. 
So I'm just leaving the paper as little as possible and keep in contact with it as much as I can. Right, you're probably wondering, yeah, what she's doing with this. As I say, the end result isn't important to me. What I'm enjoying doing is just looking and then letting my hand make a mark on the paper without me seeing that mark yet. I'm just responding to the lovely curves of this flower. And I don't really care if it's going out of proportion, which it probably is. Right, so that's that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. It's going to be, you know, looking a lot different. There it is. That's what I've been drawing that section there, and then my drawing is this. Where's it gone? This. Okay, so that's the sort of, I'd say, it's, it was more or less blind, actually, because I hardly looked at my paper at all. Okay, so there's a, there's a blind contour drawing. So what I'll do now is I'll just um, have a go of doing a more uh, considered drawing, okay? So I'll just turn the paper over, and <laughs> this time I'm going to pull out stem and uh, the same stem actually I think I'll use really like this and I'll uh, lay it on the paper so that it's flat Oop, next to me so let's see if that's on okay so there it is and it's got a lovely cast shadow too actually yeah. okay so I'm just going to Hold it there, slightly off the paper, and this time I think I'll start with the largest flower. Better zoom out a little bit more. Okay, so let's start with the largest flower now. Now I am looking at my paper. Just drawing the initial outlines. That's kind of there. I like to draw with um, sort of on off pressure, that's alternating pressure between, you know, pressure that would make a sort of darkish mark and pressure that would make a light mark. So I'm working it now into the next section. Of the sort of buds that are waiting to open now, they're just in a row and they're all diminishing in size. They, you can just see the sort of dents in the petals that will be where they open. There's one behind there as well. And there's a little sort of shoulder, a little cuff. It's 
happening behind there. And that's sitting on that. And then there's another spur coming along. Tiny little cuff there. And this bud is smaller. But they've got this lovely, it's almost like a, a, a tulip shape. Tiny bud. a very small bud behind that one. So that now. It's got a little curve, the, the, so the row has got a curve to it. There's three tiny little petals right at the end. This is the smallest bar one bud. And that's about it. So if I just zoom in on that, let's put that back in the water so that it'll open up a little bit more. Okay, so there's my sketch now. So what I like to do with these is once I've done um, the initial drawing, I like to come in and uh, do a bit of extra sort of work, just some more pencil work. Again, in places I like to apply a bit more pressure, just to se separate some of the buds from the others, you know, to position them better so that you can see that they are overlapping. Like this one is definitely, you know, in front of this one, so I'll do that paler. That cuff could be a bit more definite. Perhaps I'll add a little V on the other side. And then some of the petals, I want to, uh, this one, which is the nearer, the nearest petal of them all. I'm just going to add a few veins to that. That's a bit wide, so I'll just narrow that down a bit. The knuckle there, so. And if I sort of, I call this ghosting, when I'm just coming back on and adding a few extra touches, perhaps a little bit of uh, shading and smudging along. I like to do that as well, just to sort of give it a bit of atmosphere and a little bit of feeling. This is a lovely pencil, it's a Kohenoa hard moot and it's a Toisson d'Or 7B, it's, it's a gorgeous velvety pencil. Okay, so I'm just, I'm just happy with that little sketch. Again, I might do a couple more of those um flowers now once i've got the, the first one done it sort of encourages in, encourages in you then to try a couple more and i like to when i draw the say a second one and the third one i'll lay them over each other so i'll have three overlapping drawings and uh it might look a little bit confusing, but what you can do then is you can again go in with a pencil and decide, right, I'm going to pull out certain petals or certain florets. And um, then you sort of make in a mood 
and you are selecting the petals and the shapes that you like the best so it's, it's your unique vision okay so i hope you enjoyed this uh, little sketching session and hope you'll enjoy me sketching some of your own flowers and i'd love to see them if you want to email me at eastwitching at hotmail.com that email address is in the description below all right thanks for watching